Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to another question and answer session for a versus exam. Here the question: A ten-year-old boy is admitted to the emergency department following fall. On examination, there is deformity and swelling of the forearm. The ability to flex fingers to be affected limbs is impaired. However, there is no sensory impairment. Imaging confirmed displaced forearm fracture, whose nerve listed below is likely to have been affected. So here we can see. 10 year old boy admitted emergency department following fall there is deformity and soiling of the forearm and the ability to flexion of the finger is affected <coughs> but there is no sensory impairment which nerve has been affected here the options options are ulnar nerve posterior interosseous nerve anterior interosseous nerve axillary nerve and radial nerve so now we have to find out the correct options here we can see deformity and soiling of the forearm and ability to flexion so the flexure group of the muscle and the nerve supplying of the muscle would be injured here we can see the, the flexure aspect and the flexure aspect we can see different muscles such as uh, this muscle and nerve and the nerve supply is the anterior interosseous nerve which is, is the branch of the median nerve and ulnar nerve so median nerve anterior interosseous nerve or ulnar nerve this one of the three nerve will be affected and here there is uh, the key point is ability to flex the finger is affected and we know that flexion of the finger is uh, maintained by the flexure pollicis longus flexure digitrum longus so here we can see the flexure pollicis longa, flexure digitrum longus and frontal quadratus. They are supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve. So our final answer is anterior interosseous nerve. And here another most important key point is no sensory impairment. So if any case, if they say there is no sensory impairment, there will be anterior interosseous or posterior interosseous. But here the says that the flexion and flexor aspect anterior interosseous and the extensor aspect posterior interosseous as they say this is the flexor aspect so this is the anterior interosseous nerve because the anterior and posterior interosseous nerve they has no sensory supply on the other hand ulnar axillary and radial axillary is in the shoulder area so it is not true but radial and ulnar they have sensory supply so our final answer is the anterior interosseous nerve thank you